Hello Year 5 and welcome to your Innovate Day. Usually it's us telling you what to do or asking you to do something, but today it's all about you telling us what you know. We are going to ask you to create a project presentation based on either something in particular detail or lots and lots of facts that you have learnt about the ancient Egyptians during our Pharaoh's topic this half term. We have covered so, so much and I know just how much you've really enjoyed doing the different activities. So as I'll explain in a moment, you can choose to focus on one area in detail or you can focus on two or three or, or more together um, as part of your presentation. There's lots of ways to present your work and it's up to you depending on circumstances, depending on what you've got available to you at home. So it could be anything from a PowerPoint presentation to a video, um, to a poster, to work in your exercise book. There, there's really all sorts that you can do um, and I'm gonna explain those to you right now. So here is all the information that you need to help you get on with your project today. So your task is to present information you've learned throughout this half term in an interesting and creative way. The choice is yours about how you present it. It's entirely up to you what you include in your project. Um, you could make a model if you've got the resources. You could make a poster. Again, if you've got the piece of paper big enough. If not, I did say on Friday, perhaps if you've got an old piece of wallpaper um, from decorating that mum and dad don't want anymore, you can turn that over and create your poster on the back of there. You could use your exercise book to do a two-page spread in there. Um, or if you've got access to a laptop and PowerPoint, you could make a PowerPoint presentation. Or simply, you could write and present a video presentation of what you've learned um, with a minimum of two minutes and a maximum of five minutes for your presentation. Whatever you choose, we would like you to make it informative and detailed, please. So here are some possible topics. We've got religion, uh, where you might include names and pictures of gods and goddesses, what they were in charge of, um, famous temples and statues, maybe pictures, illustrations, doesn't have to be a printout, you could draw these yourself with descriptions as well uh, and labels. You could talk about mummification and the details of the different steps involved, the science involved, you remember from Friday's science lesson, the science lesson, um, canopic jars, shabti that were taken into the afterlife, the book of the dead and any other things that um, people would cheers illustrations again doesn't have to be a, a printout you can draw draw those yourself the afterlife itself the journey into the underworld ceremony gods that were involved in there or bottom left hand corner hieroglyphics the importance of the discovery of the rosetta stone hieroglyphs um you could talk about where they're found and what they are used for and maybe even what they say you could link those together you could have presentation focus couldn't you because those three things link nicely together it's up to you other things you could talk about are famous pharaohs, research those in detail. You could talk about pyramids um, and that could link to the pharaohs as well, about where the, um, the pyramid, any il illustrations and information that you can add to that to describe those. Bottom left hand corner you could talk about the affected their lives. Um, how cl uh, what kind of clothes they wore, you might talk about uh, or draw examples of Egyptian any jobs that they might have done. You could also talk about the Nile bottom right and you could again use a labelled map, lots of inform lots and lots of information you could put in there. So what sorts of things to include? Titles telling us what your work is about, subheadings for each paragraph, detailed information, make it detailed and interesting. Pictures doesn't have to be printouts, it can wings that you've done yourself with labels potentially. What we expect and what we'd like to see is a well thought out neat presentation. We want to see some effort, your creativity and detail in your work. You can use any work you've done over the half to a few that's already in your um, exercise book and there are lots and lots of websites to help which you will get posted on your class story too. Here are some examples Examples of things that you could do. Now this one you could put um, information with that telling us about the um, amulets and uh, shabti and things like that that the person has taken in with them to the afterlife. Here we've got some uh, pyramid uh, models, other examples of how you could present your work. And don't forget you can pause this at any time and go back through. 
So you could make a PowerPoint, pres PowerPoint presentation, uh, do a, a poster like that's very detailed, is that one. Um, perhaps not as detailed as that, but that sort of idea. Um, again, not as detailed as that, but that sort of idea. And any other work. It's really up to you. The important thing is that you take the opportunity to make it as detailed, as interesting and creative as you can, showing us what you know. So there you have it folks, there's lots and lots for you to be getting on with and it's entirely up to you how you present your work. I would like all of you to upload your work by 3 o'clock this afternoon uh, so your teachers have got a chance to have a look at it. I really really hope you enjoy doing this and make it as, as interesting and as creative as you can and as you like because the choice is yours. So I hope you have a fun day and it's time to show us what you've learnt.